Hello and welcome to the first EVE online guide uh, brought to you by eve-social.com. My name is Nicodemus. I am the administrator of evesocial.com. So um, let's get this started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is bookmark some pages that we are going to be using um, in this guide and future guides. So the, I believe that every beginner should have certain pages bookmarked. One of those pages is evesurvival.org uh, eve-survival.org. What this is is um, a mission guide. It'll um, pretty much teach you by typing in a mission name it'll teach you the different um, mission objectives uh, what you're fighting against what kind of damage to use in these missions um, and I mean there is uh, nothing better as far as this is concerned this is the best um, option um, at least I haven't found anything better the next is Eve agents e-agents.com this um, basically helps you find mission givers um, in your local area or surrounding areas um, you type in a system or a region what corporation you want to do missions for you hit search um, you know and it'll help you out that way right now I'm currently in essence I'm doing for doing missions for um, core complexion so let's uh, hit search on that and these are some mission givers um, you can sort by level required standings etc 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 I like level 4 required standings 5.2 very very useful tool for finding agents um, the next one is battle clinic eve.battleclinic.com um, great for finding ship fits discussions um, kill boards it's pretty much an all-in-one um, for that type of uh, aspect of eve the next one is the eve mom dot evemom.battleclinic.com um, this is a tool which we will be going into in um, probably our next tutorial um, I would suggest that any new player um, get download evemom it is probably the most helpful tool also the release candidate the 1.3.4 which is while I'm making this video is the current release candidate I would get the release candidate over the stable version for the simple fact that the release candidate does have the updated information with the learning skills removed um, the next tool you'll have a choice it's either Eve fitting tool or PIFA um, which is the only two I would choose from E-fitting tool, um, I believe, has been around for a lot longer. Um, uh, it's what I originally started using. Um, you could find it. I'll link it in the video comment section. Um, you can find it either through the video comment or go to Google and type in uh, EFT, which is short for E-fitting tool. PIFA is a newer um, fitting tool for Eve um, it's a Python fitting tool which I'm currently playing with and I like it a lot more than the original Eve fitting tool but that's personal preference I like the way it saves ships I like um, it exports in the same format um, it, it's a lot cleaner GUI um, and it's a lot more uh, user friendly once you you know discover how to use it um, a lot of people also go to Eve Central for their market data. I'm currently going to eve-marketdata.com um, for the simple fact that 
Um, it has a lot of interesting tools like import ship from EFT, which you could also import from PYFA, PIFA. Um, and you can get prices. You can tell it your current solar system. And it'll tell you, you know, if you go to Jita, nine jumps out, your total cost of that ship that you're creating um, compared to the system you're in, which is heck. Uh, it'll tell you the differences, how much you'll save by going nine jumps, which is almost a million isk in this case. So this is a pretty cool uh, utility for uh, beginners if you're going to be fitting some ships. Now, this is one of my personal favorites. Um, I don't hear this being talked about a whole lot. Um, this is evegeek.com. Now, when I first started Eve, being a mathematician that I am, I, you know, immediately began throwing together spreadsheets of data, you know, and this data included or calculators and such. So, this has all of the data that I've put into spreadsheets. Um, or calculator, mineral worth calculator. Um, you could, you know, say, you could put in your current uh, market prices. This pulls from Eve Central. Um, this is the average um, prices, but you could pull it from HEC or JITA, uh, wherever you're currently closest to, and type in that data. And then, let's say, for instance, to refine this ore with the refinery of 89%, I'm going to get, you know, uh, there's a good number. And, you know, let's say I'm going to get that for refining. Um, I can calculate and know that with those current prices, I'm going to get uh, 4.8 mil ISK. Now I can calculate what that ore sells for um, and see if I'm better off selling the ore or selling the minerals. Um, some of these are just beautiful calculators. Uh, great encoding. Love Eve Geek. Um, this also helps for manufacturing. Am I better off building the ship or buying it with my current manufacturing level? There's the U and the Perfect. Um, what it would cost you to manufacture the ship, type in that here, calculate it. It would cost you $14 million to build a $12 million-ish ship. You know you're better off buying it and selling the minerals. Um, simple math. Beautiful, beautiful. Eveek.com. I love it. Um, I can't wait till the owner starts releasing some of these scripts. So I don't have to build them myself, which I'm already working on. Um with my handy dandy uh, development. All right, so let's go to, um, we already checked out e fitting tool. Um, like I said, I'll post the link to that. Um, and obviously there's Eve Social, which is the site I'm developing currently. Um, and if you're watching this tutorial, you probably got it off Eve Social, and it's probably already fully developed by now. Um, I'll have several tutorials, guides, um, calculators, um, character sheets, planning, data, research, pretty much everything you can think of, I'll have um, once it's fully developed and hopefully get a good development community started because it kind of seems separated into different sects at the moment. Um, so uh, that's going to be the first guide. And this is just the guide to tell you what to bookmark, um, what you're going to need to get started. Now, the next guide will actually go into actually using some of these programs. Um, so let's get that going.